Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 8.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a rectangular prism and we just need the total surface area, but there's no multiple choice to choose from. So we have to be very precise here. Well, if we're looking for our total surface area, this is what we're gonna get on our formula chart. We're gonna get P H plus two B. And so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you really know what those letters stand for. Uh, so let's figure this out because if we're looking at the total surface area, we just want to look at the faces. We've got six faces on a rectangular prism. And so I could tell you what these that 2B is right here, right? So that here's my base. All right, so I'm going to, if I needed the surface area of that base, right? Uh, I need to double it because it's the same on the top and the bottom, okay? So I get that. So the area of two base, so right here, I'm gonna get this two base. So it's the area of the base. So it's uh, 16 times eight, and I'm just gonna double it uh, because there's two of them. All right, so I can go ahead and do that. So 16 times eight is 128 double that. All right, so I've got 256. I'm going to add to whatever this pH is. So you know what? Let's just, let's do it the long way. And we'll figure out where that pH comes from. So if I wanted to just, I'm just going to take the, the four rectangles that connect my two bases. I just want to figure out what those are. All right, so this left side over here, right? So that's going to be, put that down here. Uh, that's going to be 10 times 8 base times height, right? And then the other one, same thing, 10 times eight. And I've got the front and the back. So let's get this front right here. So this is uh, 10 times base of 16. And I've got the back, same thing. If I get those four, add them up, I can add that to my 256, and I have all six faces. Take a look at what's common here. 10, 10, 10, 10. So you can actually factor out that 10, and you can leave what's left. 8 plus this 8 plus this 16 plus another 16. Guess what that is? 10 is my height. 8 plus 8 plus 16 plus 16. That's the perimeter. So that's what the perimeter times height means. You find the perimeter of the base and you multiply it by the height. And that's just kind of a shortcut for doing what we just did. So what is the perimeter? So I've got 16 plus 16 plus 8 plus 8. That makes 48 times 10. All right, that's easy. That's 480. All right, so my lateral surface area, which is really what this is. This is my lateral surface area, the perimeter times the height, right? That's going to be these four, my three back, and then there's my front, right? And then I need to add my top and my bottom, my bases. So let's add those two. We're going to get 256, and that's a pretty simple problem. We don't even need any decimals. So we're going to get 736. We just need to go ahead and bubble this in. So if we're looking on our mathematics chart, we need something that looks like this. Very skinny column. It's got a decimal. We don't need that. Two digits to the right. Actually, don't need that. We can leave those blank. We've got four digits to the left. So our 736 is going to go here. Bubble in the correct numbers underneath. Go ahead and leave everything else blank. You don't need to put a zero in front of the seven. You don't need to put any zeros in the decimal spots, just 736.